In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an email signature using a transport rule in Office 365. So the first thing I wanna do is have the HTML for my email signature ready. I've made mine already, because otherwise this video would be pretty long. But if we just open up this file here, you can see all that HTML written out in there to describe how it's supposed to look, how it's shaped, what images to use, etc. In fact, if I open this up using Google Chrome, we can take a little preview of it. Now you'll notice, by the way, that instead of actual contact details, it has things like display name and title. That's because I'm using those to tell 365 to fill those in with the details for my 365 profile. So you'll want to use those appropriately. Now, You'll also notice if we go in here, that the image I'm using is actually referenced as a URL. So what I've done is I have set this to a particular URL on an image hosting site. You can just see that image. Anyone could see that going to that URL. And you'll also notice when I go in here and open up that signature in Chrome, same image displayed there. All right, so let's get started. If I go into admin in the 365 dashboard, I'll need to be a global admin on my 365 tenancy. I'll go down to exchange under admin, and then I'll go to mail flow and rules. So you can either click it straight there, or you could go over on the left, click mail flow. You should be in rules anyway, but it's up there if you need. So I'll click plus, and then I'll just do create a new rule. I don't want to start from one of the suggestions that 365 already has. So I'll just type a name for this. Great, fine, something to remember it by. And then I'll click, because not all the options are displayed, I just wanna click more options so I can see everything. And I'm gonna say, if the sender is inside the organization, then I'll add this signature on there effectively. I could have also said only if the sender's in a certain group. And then I'll say, append this disclaimer. Prepend puts it before the message, This puts it after. So I'll just copy and paste the HTML that I showed you earlier. Perfect. Click OK. And now I'll decide what to do if it can't add that disclaimer as Office 365 calls it for any reason. So we could reject the message, we could ignore it. I'm going to choose ignore because it's the safest option. It means even if we can't put this on there for some reason, it'll still go through as normal. Now I could add an exception. So you could say that you don't wanna add that signature, that disclaimer, if the recipient is inside your organization. So it wouldn't go on internal emails. I'll just leave it as is and I'll hit save. Okay, so I'm actually all set. I've created my rule. Now all I wanna do is send a quick test email. I'll just go back to mail and I'm just gonna send my test email to myself because remember I didn't put an exception on there to ignore internal emails. So I can just click new type my own email address in here, great. And I'll just put a little test subject and a test message body in there just to see how it all fits together. And there it is. Let's make sure it looks right. Perfect, got my image on there and it's filled in all those details appropriately. Excellent, thank you for watching.